ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. Our men's and women's national beach soccer teams in El Salvador are the World Beach Games qualifier. The men taking on Panama in quarterfinal round action. And what a match it was, featuring 14 goals, drama comebacks, and even a penalty shootout. The 2-4-2 getting off to a blazing start, scoring four unanswered goals in the first 12 minutes. The second period belonged to Panama as they scored five goals to take the lead before the Bahamas made it five all. The third period was back and forth and this one went into extra time and eventually PKs at 7-all. During the shootout, Panama was perfect while the Bahamas missed off the foot of Jean-Francois and that would be the difference. The Bahamas falls 3-1 and fails to make it through to the semifinals. Leslie St. Fleur and Michael Butler had two regulation goals apiece. Jaime Thompson, Tim Munnings, and Gavin Christie added the others. Kyle Williams made the lone penalty shot. Now, unlike the men, the women playing in a round-robin format, they drew the host right out of the gate and ended up losing 6-3. The Bahamas Basketball Federation Summer Thunder Series stepping off yesterday at the Candle Isaac Gym. In the opener, the Commonwealth Bank Giants giving Temple all they can handle before falling 98-96. Former Norfolk State standout Deshaun Taylor, a one-man wrecking crew. He scored a game-high 39 points in the loss. Jackson Jacob adding 20 while Mark St. Ford had 17. This was Aaron McKee's first game as head coach for Temple. I was you know, so uncomfortable for the game because I, I, I've never been a head coach before. So I really had no idea what to think, how to react. And the game just, just took over. It just natural instincts kicked in. I almost felt like I was out there playing the way I was up and down the sideline and, and communicating with the guys. I'm in my defensive stands. I got my arms and, you know, everything else out. But it was cool, man. It was a great experience. Uh, our guys responded. They played pretty much played at a breakneck pace, you know, getting up and down the floor, trying to play an exciting brand of, of basketball. Got some things we got to clean up. Got to certainly work on, continue to work on our rebounding. Um, certainly work on our transition defense and, and our, our defense. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't have the pleasure of being able to have a roster and have an idea of who's who and what's what. Who was a shooter versus a guy who could score, or who was a banger, you know. But we figured out that as time went along, those guys shot the ball pretty pretty well um, behind the arc. And we made some adjustments to take those guys off the three-point line. And I thought they also did a pretty good job of, of getting to the free throw line. It was, it was a pretty good basketball team, some attacking guards, and they could shoot the ball. They spaced us. They played with five guys. And we made some adjustments. And we got lucky down the stretch. And I think you need a, you know, in this game of basketball, you don't need some luck. President of the Bahamas. Basketball Federation Mario Bole expecting even more excitement as the Summer of Thunder continues. We want the Bahamian fans to come on down and see this is all about giving our Bahamian basketball players that exposure to play up against these top notch Division I basketball teams where some of these players are the future number one draft picks or uh, uh, NBA players to come and you know when you look at the, the level of coaching and, and play right here from the Division I teams we ask that our high school uh, coaches would bring their, their high school teams and come and see what level their players need to get at uh, to play at this level. From the minor league baseball diamond, Christian Robinson continuing to move up the ladder in the Arizona Diamondbacks organization. Yesterday, he was promoted to the low A. Kane County Cougars. This should be a nice test for Robinson, who destroyed the pitching in the Northwest League to the tune of a 319, 407, and 558 slash line with nine home runs and 14 steals in 44 games. The Bahamas Law and Tennis Association has fielded two teams for the ITF Kotec Under-12 team competition in the Dominican Republic. The team members for the boys consist of Jackson McTigert, Kai Reese, and Gerald Carroll. The girls will be represented by Breanne Ferguson, Sophia Ferguson, and Jaleesa Clark. Other countries joining the Bahamas and the host are Bermuda, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Haiti, Jamaica, and Puerto Rico. Competition starts tomorrow and runs through next Saturday. Marion Bain is coaching the girls, while Jared Turnquist will coach the boys. Still talking tennis, Bradley Bain and Iman Williamson taking the sport to the island of Ackland with a week-long camp that wrapped up yesterday. So far this summer, the BLTA has hosted camps in Freeport, Grand Bahama, Forest Heights, and Abaco, here in the capital, and in Palmetto Point, Eleuthera. Despite inclement weather conditions, they were able to get two C-class races in yesterday at the Cat Island Regatta. Both were won by Catch to Cat. It was some fairly good battle, Del. 
we get uh, one or two favorite pups, and then they uh, got good sale. The captain was doing all the right things, and then we pull it out, man. Talk about getting out there, knowing that this boat is representing Cat Island. Yeah, well, you know, for a period of time it being out, it had a little downfall, but now the right crew, the right captain on it, is proving itself to be a good competitive boat. That's a look at sports. A check on weather up next. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center.